my name is Rachel Elmore, and I'm a stroke survivor. I'm only 19 now, but when I was 10, I had something pretty terrible happen as I expected. We had no idea why, and I'm here to tell my story. So basically, I was, I was in California. I was with my friends, my Girl Scout friends after school. Um, and I, uh, I raced from somewhere, I remember, and I stopped into my branch crack and I felt like my brain was cracking into a million pieces. And so they asked me, I was like, yeah, so yeah, I just got my headache, just give me a minute. And I laid down and I asked me again, I said, yeah, I'm fine. And then all I remember saying that after that was I can't feel my left side. So, um, they, they rang, I passed out, I went unconscious. And they went and got uh, their mom, who was watching uh, her little, my friend's little brother play in a, a little league baseball field game. Um, and they called on one. The, my mom had just gotten off work. She got the call from the mom, from the, their mom, and they said um, they said they had called the medics. They weren't sure what was wrong. And the medic came over and told my mom that I was having a stroke. They wrote Nanny right away. Um, they took me up to Oakland Children's Hospital. But they don't deal pediatric stroke victims there. Well, not very many people do because it's very rare for a 10 year old dog stroke. But, and then, um, then they took, they stabilized me. They transferred me over to UCSF, University of California, San Francisco. They do have pediatric stroke victims there. And so what they did was they, um, they, they did a bunch of tests. They kept looking right in here because they, they knew I had this section and weren't sure where I was bleeding internally. And so what they did was they, they did some more MRIs and looked as like right in my brain. And so what they did was they gave my parents three options. They kept me on heparin, which is super blood thinner. They could, they could just clip the blood vessel. I won't get any oxygen to that part of the brain ever again. Or they could uh, put in a stent, which was a pretty risky uh, and uh, experimental procedure. And so my parents, the was on 50 50 chance for me to survive it. And so my parents picked to uh, do the stent. Uh, after that, the, the procedure was successful. Uh, I uh, had two strokes, so what happened was uh, I had the first stroke, I lost all function off of that. 24 hours later, I got that all back. But then that night, I had a, a nice stroke. That's what took it all away. But after the procedure, I stopped having strokes. And uh, they put me on Plavix and aspirin for a or for me, in the meantime, they didn't take my Plavix till later, but so they they said I was gonna be a okay. in the ICU for two two weeks after that. Then they transferred me back to Oakland Children's uh, to get um, physical therapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy. I was in there for two months. In less than two months, I went from a wheelchair, or I mean, a bed to a wheelchair. To a cane to brace to no brace within two months. I'm very lucky. And just like any other kids, I was really normal. It was very unexpected. I I had no idea what a stroke even was. For the longest time I blame myself for the stroke.